Ciao Peter, sono Giulio Cicala di White Screen Magazine, sono un pelino emozionato perché ho un'ammirazione sui confronti. Eh, le chiedo una cosa, uno dei suoi elementi di forza è stata la Nuova Zelanda. Nuova Zelanda non solo come location ma come modo di lavorare. Lei per la prima volta ha lavorato negli Stati Uniti, eh, diciamo, ha trovato delle difficoltà, un altro modo di lavorare e poi si è parlato di 3D. Eh, Spielberg negli anni 70 ha fondato una nuova Hollywood. Lei eh, diciamo, sta fondando eh, una nuova Hollywood. Eh, come vede questo eh, passaggio? Eh, grazie di tutto. Uh, ok, good. Um, well, I, you know, I, I, the, the Lovely Bones was the first time I'd shot uh, um, any film outside of New Zealand. Um, although the, the production, I should say, the production was based in New Zealand. Our, our film company, you know, produced the movie and that's where we are based. We went to Pennsylvania and shot location scenes in Pennsylvania for about seven or eight weeks and then we relocated back to New Zealand again and a lot of the interiors were shot in, in our stages in, in New Zealand and we obviously did all the post-production there. So, it, I mean, The Lovely Bones wasn't in, in any way um, an American film, it was still a, a New Zealand movie. Um, I mean, Pennsylvania was important because Alice Siebold, who wrote the, the, the book, um, it's certainly not autobiographical, but that Alice did grow up in this particular area of Pennsylvania and she was writing and describing many of the locations that she remembered as a child, um, the high school and the, where the, the, the sinkhole was, um, where Susie, you know, ultimately the safe rolls into that big hole in the ground. She, you know, she imagined where these places were based on um, locations that, that she knew as a child growing up there. So we, we spoke to Alice and she drew us a little map that um, where we would find the shopping mall that she was, she was describing. All these things were real in her mind. Um, and so it felt, it felt authentic to the movie to try to shoot on those locations um, because it was being faithful to Alice's vision for the film. And being, um, being outside Hollywood, I'm sure it's very similar to the Italian film industry. You know, you, I think the advantage is that you are working in your home country, you are not influenced by the American studio system. Um, and I, and I, I do appreciate that. I like the fact that I'm an alien in Hollywood. You know, I, I don't go to the parties, I don't go to the dinners and the lunches. I, I sort of don't, I'm not connected with any of that. I, I'm just a New Zealander um, and a stranger to that. And I think that's healthy because the Hollywood, the Hollywood film industry, I think, has a tendency to make people conform to a particular type of movie and a particular style of filmmaking and I think it's, it's healthy to stay a little bit outside of that and I, I think it results in a slightly more independent feeling um, in result of the film. Thank you.